Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 18th of January. A little soggy out there today. And then uh, later in the week, a visit of uh, old man winter again. Arctic air blows in here on Friday. Will there be any ice or snow this time? Hey, let's take a look and see what we got. Here's the uh, sky cam shots early this morning. First off, coming from Birmingham, looking right down 20th Street. Cloudy, a little light rain in spots. Up in uh, northwest Alabama, there's the uh, Fayette sky cam. They've seen some light rain off and on this morning. And pretty much the same thing there from uh, downtown Jasper in Walker County. That's the view coming from the King Building. Nice trough axis west of the state. Very cold air up in the north of that thing. And uh, down below that, there's the rain this morning at 5.03. And you can see it's kind of light and kind of spotty. We'll see periods of light rain today. Rainfall amounts should be under one-half inch, generally speaking. And no icing problems this morning. This is our warmest morning in a long time. Uh, everybody not only above the freezing mark, we're in the 40s. Uh, Birmingham at 44, Tuscaloosa 46 degrees at 5 o'clock. However, yeah, look at that nose of Arctic air invading the northern plains. Looks like it's 24 below zero in the core of that. And uh, just the weight of that air alone will, will, will nudge it in here late this week. I don't think we see the, the core of that. Uh, kind of more of a side swipe, if you will. But still, it's going to be awfully cold on Friday and uh, Saturday as we start the weekend. Got an array of uh, winter weather issues up in the northeast. Uh, down into parts of uh, Virginia and North Carolina. But around here, things are nice and quiet. And there's the overall precipitation expected for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, suggesting about three-quarters of an inch uh, around here. And, of course, that counts the rain we get today and the rain we get Thursday night. And the snow outlook on day three, uh, this is valid from Thursday morning at 6 o'clock until Friday morning at 6 o'clock. And uh, the guys at uh, HPC are suggesting the better snows from uh, Missouri and Kentucky up to uh, uh, Pennsylvania, New York with this thing. Let's take a look at what's going to happen down here. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today. There's your trough axis coming through. Down below that, rain is likely. The better rain totals should be across the northern third of the state today. Tomorrow's kind of the in-between day, if you will. Uh, we'll probably start the day with some clouds. We'll see sunshine by afternoon, we believe, will be a little cooler, highs in the uh, mid-40s. And on Thursday, we go right back in the 50s. Uh, there's the trough axis to the west. And down below that, here comes the rain. Uh, some spots might touch 60 on Thursday afternoon. All right, let's go to uh, Thursday night at midnight. Now, this run of the GFS is clearly drier. Uh, precipitation very light Thursday night. This would suggest not that much rain. Uh, the potential rain-snow line at midnight would be roughly along U.S. 278, uh, north of a line from Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden, and this is suggesting even up there, not much snow, probably not enough to get on the ground. It could be in spots. And certainly the amounts look a whole lot lighter in Tennessee on this run. And then Friday morning at 6 o'clock, it's all gone. So I, I and, and let's look at a couple of other models quickly. This is the NAM, the North American Mesoscale scale model at midnight Thursday night. Now, this is showing deeper moisture for Tennessee with uh, snow there and maybe enough snow to get on the ground near the Tennessee state line up in extreme north Alabama. But uh, down here at midnight, that would be just rain. And then Friday morning at 6 o'clock, it's all gone. And the European, this is Friday morning at 6 o'clock, rain gone, cold air coming in behind it. So really all three models are suggesting that no big deal with precipitation. We might see some snowflakes uh, you know, at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, but nothing more than that, no accumulation. And the only potential problem would be moisture that is left over from the rain Thursday night that might freeze Friday morning on bridges. Uh, so, again, there could be some bridge icing, but certainly this batch of runs does not look as uh, significant as the ones we saw yesterday for bridge icing. So it is still a possibility, mainly because of freezing of leftover rain from Thursday night as we drop off very quickly. And then during the day Friday, just uh, cold, uh, cold air coming in uh, will keep us 
near the freezing mark much of the day, a strong north wind that will keep wind chill index values below freezing. Saturday starting off the weekend will be a sunny day, but a cold day. We'll start the day in the mid-teens. Uh, most spots uh, probably between 14 and 19, but uh, should be a cloudless sky. The high upper 30s, maybe touching 40. We'll, we'll see bright sunshine. That will certainly help to take a little bit of the edge off. And then uh, Sunday, the same deal. Dry, a cold morning, the low close to 20. Uh, the daytime high should be in the 40s, mid to upper 40s. And then uh, Monday of next week, here comes our next wave. We'll go to Tuesday, nice uh, trough, positive tilt off to the west, and down below that, a very wet look on Tuesday. And this would be all rain if this is right. But the European looks all kind of different now. This, this is Monday on the European, midday Monday. It's got a weaker system coming in here, and that suggests maybe a chance of some kind of snow there for Tennessee and maybe extreme north Alabama on Monday. And then Tuesday, the European is dry as a bone. So pure model madness. And, and, you know, yesterday the European looked just wet as could be on Tuesday. So, uh, you know, I, I think we'll go back to that GFS solution that shows just a wet day Tuesday and, and kind of roll with that. Let's go out there toward the end of the month. What do you say? Ooh, look at that bowling ball feature. There's your uh, next snowstorm. But, uh, hey, this is pure voodoo. We know that will be gone in the next run. And then on the second, just looks cold for much of the eastern part of the continent. We go 1,036 millibar high feeding cold air. We're going to have a hard time warming up. I'm telling you, we've had this big discrepancy between the uh, GFS teleconnections outlook and the operational ones. The, there's the teleconnections. Look at the North Atlantic Oscillation showing up in positive territory, which would suggest no eastern U.S. trough. But again, you know, you look at that, and, and goodness, it's a big discrepancy there. And I, with so many of these operational runs looking that way, I think you have to start trending in that direction as you look at what might happen late this month and early next month is the fact that it stays cold. But again, you know the deal. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.